dear students today we will study about the activities which affect the photosynthesis which tell us about what things are necessary for the photosynthesis to take place so first of all the first activity is to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis so here what we will do first of all we will take a potted plant for example croton plant which is having variegated leaves variegated leaves means colored leaves a plant which are having colored leaves apart from green color there may be any other color also like here you can see there is cream color is present in this leaf now take this plant in the dark room you have to keep the plant in the dark room for 3 days and why we are doing this so that whatever starch this plant is having which was prepared by the process of photosynthesis it gets used up so that no more starch is left with the plant now after 3 4 days you have to keep that plant again in the sunlight for about 6 hours next step will be now you have to take a leaf from the plant you have to pluck a leaf from the plant and then you will mark up the green areas of the leaf on the sheet you will just draw this leaf on a piece of paper and then roughly mark up the green areas of the of this plant of this leaf on the sheet next step will be you will be taking this leaf and you will boil it you will dip it into the boiling water and why it is done so so that the leaf becomes soft in nature after that you will take out the leaf and dip it in alcohol why we are doing so so that the alcohol decolorizes the leaf and whatever chlorophyll is present it gets removed now next step will be that you have to wash the leaf again in water and you will dip it into the iodine solution you will take iodine solution and dip it into the iodine solution if you remember we all have studied in earlier classes that is, uh, test for the starch is done through the iodine solution what you will observe that the green parts of the leaf turns blue black why only the green plants are turning into blue black color when iodine solution is placed over to the leaf because only the green portion is responsible for the process of photosynthesis and why green portion is responsible for the process of photosynthesis because it contains chlorophyll so the whole activity shows that chlorophyll is the necessary part of photosynthesis as you can uh, remember the equation of photosynthesis it, it was 6 co2 plus 12 h2o and in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it was uh, forming glucose water was uh, released and oxygen was evolved so by the reaction itself it is proved that in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll only photosynthesis takes place and this activity proves that the necessity of chlorophyll in the process of photosynthesis now let us move to the next activity of NCRT and the activity is to show that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis here again two plants are taken they should be of the same size same type and again these both plants are kept for three to four days in a dark room why it is done so so that no direct sunlight is available over there and when no sunlight is provided photosynthesis will stop and whatever starch that is food is available within the plant it will be used up by the plant now next step will be that you have to keep after 3-4 days you will take them out and you will keep them on separate glass plate in each of the in one of the container you will be keeping one watch glass in which potassium hydroxide will be placed now why this potassium hydroxide is added over here in the watch glass so that whatever carbon dioxide is present in this setup it is absorbed by potassium hydroxide the work of potassium hydroxide is it absorbs carbon dioxide 
now what we will do we will cover both the plants with the bell jars here uh, as seen as it is clearly seen in this figure both the plants which were identical they were they are covered with the bell jar a uh, watch glass is kept in it potassium hydroxide is uh, placed and it is kept in one of the setup and these bell jars are then sealed with vaseline so that the containers both the containers become airtight now we will keep these plants in sunlight for 3 hours now again the same test starch test will be repeated a leaf from each of the plant will be taken one from this plant and another from this plant and it will be tested for the presence of the starch like we did in the first activity so what we will observe that the leaf of the plant in which potassium hydroxide was present it does not shows the presence of starch why because the potassium hydroxide has absorbed whole of the carbon dioxide and if again you will recall the uh, reaction of photosynthesis the reaction itself proves that carbon dioxide is necessary to initiate the process of photosynthesis as the reaction was 6 co2 plus 12 h2 in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives glucose water and oxygen is evolved so now if carbon dioxide is not present in the setup which was absorbed by potassium hydroxide which was placed here then how the uh, reaction of photosynthesis take place it won't take place so this whole activity shows the presence of carbon dioxide that the presence of carbon dioxide is necessary for the process of photosynthesis to keep on continuing now let us move to the next activity which shows that light is necessary for photosynthesis students any one of these activities is generally asked in one way or the other in the board examination and they are very easy you just try to understand them and then you can easily get why these uh, things like light carbon dioxide and chlorophyll are necessary for photosynthesis and you can easily answer the questions related to these activities now again we will be taking a potted plant and it will be placed in the dark room so that it is destarched so what do we understand by destarched it means that whole of the starch is used up within in the complete dark room and it is kept for around 48 hours or 3 to 4 days it is kept in the dark room now after 48 hours you will choose one leaf as you can see in this diagram and it you will cover it with the help of a black paper strip or cello tape you can use black tape you can use and you will cover the strip from the middle from the upper side as well as from the lower side now you will keep this potted plant in the sunlight for 3 to 4 hours what you will do in 3 4, 3 to 4 hours some photosynthesis should be done in this plant now what we will do we will pluck out this particular leaf and remove the black strip again the same process will be repeated the leaf will be boiled for about 2 minutes it will make the leaf soft then it will be dipped into the alcohol which will decolorize the leaf and chlorophyll will be removed now next will be the uh, again the leaf will be washed in water and at last the leaf will be placed in the petri dish and few drops of iodine solution will be added over to the decolorized leaf so what we will observe that the portion of the leaf which was uncovered which was not covered by the black strip will perform photosynthesis that is they will turn into blue black color with iodine solution as the photosynthesis is happening in this uncovered portion the starch is formed here and it gives a positive starch test by turning blue black with iodine solution and the covered portion of the leaf that is the portion which was covered with the black strip it remains yellow it does not gets affected by the iodine solution which shows that starch was not present in this portion of the leaf and photosynthesis could not take place 
as it was covered with black strip paper so you can uh, very well understand that as light was not reaching into this portion of the leaf the photosynthesis did not take place formation of starch or carbohydrate glucose did not take place and due to which there was the iodine solution test or the starch test turned out to be negative for this particular portion so students we will stop here with these activities today and we'll continue with nutrition in animals tomorrow thank you very much